Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl city and today is actually Christmas Day So to everyone happy holidays I hope you guys are having an amazing time with your family and friends and enjoying the festivities as you can see, I'm wearing a red lipstick to celebrate the holidays with you guys. 2018 is almost over. It's it's a year that has just gone by. In today's video, we are going to be kicking off my 2018 or best of 2018 list. And I'm going to be starting with lipsticks which used to be my favorite category pero hindi na ngayon. For lipsticks, hindi naman ako ganon masyadong nag-venture out kasi I uh, tried more complexion products this year. Yung mga pumasok sa favorite score, items talaga na lagi kong ginagamit or yung talagang nasa everyday makeup bag ko. I'm excited to share this list kasi karamihan dito affordable. Lahat nga actually ng lipsticks na ipapakita ko affordable except for the gloss kasi yun, high-end yung gloss na napili ko. But, I hope you guys will enjoy it. So, without further Let's get started. So I'll be starting out the list with, of course, the staples. These are just OG na in my collection, but I still think that they are one of the best. I'm talking about the Maybelline um, Powder Mats and Creamy Mats na line. These are just so good for the price. Kung nagsisimula ka sa makeup, you should get one of these para sa lipstick mo. Kasi they are just easy to work with. Foolproof sila in my opinion. They are so nice on the lips. The pigmentation is okay. Okay din naman yung longevity, but of course, it's a bullet lipstick. Kaya hindi siya ganun tumatagal. It's not drying sa feeling for me at least. 299 yung retail price nila but laging nagsisale si Maybelline so you can get them for 199 pesos each so I think that's already a good price kasi matagal mong magagamit onting onting swipe lang yung kailangan mo and okay na yung pigmentation niya I just love this product so much Clay Crush would have to be my favorite shade of all time. Like, mawala na lahat ng lipstick ko, wag lang si Clay Crush. Of course, wag sana. But, Clay Crush has to be the best for me. Kasi, ito yung shade na talagang suits my skin tone the best. But, I also like the touch of nude na shade sa powder mats collection. Although I feel like yung powder mats, medyo mas fragile sila. Madali silang maputol as compared to the creamy mats. So, ingat kayo sa paggamit if you're planning to get one from their powder mats na line. Kung wala ka pa nito, um, I suggest that you get one kasi magandang addition sila sa collection. Now, on to my next favorite um, lipstick for this year. I really enjoyed using the Caroline Kiss Sticks. I have two shades here. I have Vacay and Just Better. Ito yung itsura nila. Meron na akong ginawang first impression ng mga lipsticks na to. And I really, really like them. Meron silang sharpener dito. So, you can keep the um, Kiss Sticks na sharpened or matulis pa din. I've already used quite an amount of Vacay. Ever since I reviewed this product, they have lived in my purse. Parang hindi na sila natatanggal sa everyday makeup bag ko. Um, of course, I switch it up with other lipsticks but I make sure to go back to this kasi they're just easy for everyday and the shades are really nice. So, if you have the chance, pick it up and you won't regret it. Love them. My third favorite lipstick will have to be the Colourpop Luxe lipstick. For me, ito yung favorite kong formula out of all the lipstick that I will be showing you. This is so comfortable on the lips. Pag in-apply mo siya, it applies like butter. Sobrang smooth niyang i-apply. Walang thugging. Buong-buo yung pigmentation. Opaque yung color. This is just a good lipstick. It dries down to a matte finish, pero yung mag, pagka matte finish siya, alam mo yung hindi mukhang dry. So, I like this. Medyo matagal nga lang siya mag-set into a matte finish, but I don't mind kasi ang ganda ng lapat niya sa lips. It's so comfortable, and it feels so luxe. So, mabigat yung pinakabulit niya. Hindi siya cheap. I like how it looks. I like how it performs. I like how it feels on the lips. The shade range is really, really good. Ang downside lang niya for me is hindi siya readily available sa drugstore. Um, you have to pick it up from an online seller or sa mismong Colourpop website in order for you to get this. But 
if you guys can get your hands on the Lux lipstick, I suggest that you do so because okay na okay sila. The formula is just so good. There was a time after I reviewed this na ito lang talaga yung ginamit ko for straight two weeks because I love this. Kaya ito nakapasok din siya sa favorite ko kasi sobrang love ko siya for this. The next lipstick that I will be showing you is the only liquid lipstick that made into my list. Kasi sa totoo lang, for 2018, I'm kind of over liquid lipstick. Before, I used to collect them. Ang dami kong liquid lipstick. Like from Colourpop, from Little Makeover, from LA Girl, and from other brands. Pero now, I kind of prefer bullet lipstick sport. The lipstick that I am talking about is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. I have the shade Seductress or 65. This one is one of those products na sobrang hyped up, but I wasn't really interested at first to try it. My office mates talked me into buying this product. So, Lian and Moan, if you're watching, they are the ones who influenced me na bilhin to. And they are right. This is just so good. Yung staying power or yung longevity talaga nitong product na to, yung pinakabentahin niya. I think tatagal to ng more than 8 hours kung hindi ka naman kain ng kain. For me kasi hindi siya ganun katagal. I don't know why. Kasi some people say na pagising nila na umaga na dun pa or sobrang hirap niyang tanggalin. Sa akin, it, at least this shade in particular, mga 6 hours lang siguro tanggal na. Maybe because I eat a lot. It also feels comfortable surprisingly considering that this one is like a straight up matte product. I suggest that you moisturize before using this because of course matte lipstick pa din siya, so there is a tendency that it would cling onto your dry patches so moisturize, mag scrub ng labi before using this. One thing that I also suggest is to avoid piling up this product kasi may tendency siya na mag-crumble um, since it's still a liquid lipstick. So, kahit ano namang liquid lipstick pag pinagpatong-patong mo, may tendency siya na mag-crumble or maging crusty. But I still love it. The longevity out of all the lipstick that I'm going to be showing you is the best dito sa product na to. So, I feel like it deserves a spot on this list. So before I go into the gloss, I have one more lipstick to show you. And I was kind of hesitant if I should put it in here. Kasi medyo bago ko lang silang na-discover or bago ko lang silang binili. But I think dadalhin ko sila sa 2019 and I will overuse them. So ngayon pa lang na feel ko na that they are my favorite or I can say I can safely say that they are my favorite. So these are the Sunny Space Fluff Matte. If you guys watch my what I got during the 11-11 or cyber sale na haul video, isa to sa mga pinakita ko. So, medyo bago pa lang siya sa collection ko. Pero, kahit bago siya, I've used a good amount of these lipsticks. As you can see, lalo na tong shade na Nudist, which is my favorite. Nudist is such a pretty shade. This is the best nude for all skin tones. Especially for Filipina skin tone, ha? Sobrang okay tong shade na to. Something about this shade na sobrang gusto ko. And if you pair it with the gloss that I will be showing you, sobrang ganda niya best. As in, ang ganda ng itsura niya sa labi. Talagang hindi to nawawala sa everyday makeup bag ko kasi ito yung ginagamit ko din for everyday. I switch it up with other lipsticks but after I got this shade or this lipstick, ito talaga ginagamit ko din siya araw-araw. Meron sa inyo na mga nag-request sa akin na i-review ko pa itong mga fluff mod but I think there had been quite a lot of reviews already that you can watch regarding it sa mga to. Siguro ang ma-add ko lang dun sa mga review na lang is that hindi naman siya super perfect like people made them seem to be. Parang hindi siya yung perfect na lahat na nandito. Meron pa rin cons sa product na to. Um, one of it being that it's quite dry. By the way, I'm wearing one in hot sauce. And as I'm talking right now, medyo nafe-feel ko na may drying feeling siya. Pero, ang ganda niya kasi talaga sa labi. Like, the pigmentation, as you can see, si hot sauce on my lips, buong-buo siya sa labi. Ganun din si Nudist and si Vakey. Ang ganda nila sa labi. Super, like, ganda nung parang powder finish nila na para ang ganda, ang plump. But I also feel like uh, the brighter shades or the deeper shades tend to feather or medyo nagbe-bleach siya after a while. So, uh, para sa akin, if you are going to be purchasing the Sunny Space Fluff Mattes, 
I suggest that you pick up yung mga nudes nila. Sa lahat, if you are going to be asking me kung yung favorite kong shade or ano yung shade na mara-recommend ko, I would say that go for nudes. Totoo naman yung balita na maganda tong product na to. Otherwise, hindi naman sila papasok sa list ko if they're not. So, I also recommend the Sunny's Black Matte. If you're planning to get one, pick it up. They're good. The last on my list will be the only gloss 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 lip gloss the last item on my list will be the lip gloss or only lip gloss that made into my list basically this particular product will convert you kung hindi ka gloss person it makes your lips look juicy and plumped and healthy and big i just love this the formula is amazing it's quite pricey, pero you get what you're paying for. The product that I am talking about is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. It's not that sticky, icky feeling that you get from gloss. I suggest that you get the mini version first to try. Kasi sobrang konti lang ng kailangan mo. One swipe sa baba, pucker your lips and that's it. If you want, one swipe sa baba, one swipe sa taas, and that's it. It would last you a good while then. I just love this. It smells amazing. I love this product as well. That's why this made it into my 2018 favorite lipstick and lip gloss. So that's it for my lipstick category. I hope you guys will stick around because I'll be doing more videos of my 2018 favorites. I will include blush, highlighter, skincare, and all of the good stuff. So if you are not yet subscribed, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so you notified ka every time I post a video because YouTube is being a shit right now. Follow me on my social media, especially on my Instagram. Links will be down in the description box as well. And magkita-kita tayo on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts. Bye!